Just a quick little announcement. If there's any locals who are interested in meeting me or just coming off-roading and having a good day of off-roading, there's an event coming up next weekend called Mega Run. And basically just a whole bunch of off-road enthusiasts come with their rigs. So this huge spot called Seddon's Corner. It's about like maybe, it's probably less than an hour away from Winnipeg. But everybody just goes out there and rips around and off-roads all day long. So I'm planning on being there February 24th. I'm gonna be set up there with some decals and some clothing for anybody who wants to pick that up. So anyways, me and the boys should be there if you guys are interested in coming and meeting us. That would be a pretty good opportunity to do so. And I would absolutely love to be able to meet some of my local fans. So everybody, keep that in mind. Mega Run, February 24th. So here we are again, covering a topic that I surprisingly get a decent amount of questions about, which is, am I ever going to vinyl wrap my truck? As many of you may know, Vinyl wrapping your truck is a much more cost efficient method to giving your truck a whole brand new look, a brand new color, anything like that. Getting a professional paint job done on a vehicle is extremely, extremely expensive and really not a smart option for a lot of people. There's a ton, a ton of hype around vinyl wrapping vehicles. I don't know exactly why. I guess it's cool to see how it looks when it's a completely different color and stuff and it looks like a brand new vehicle lots of the times. But there's definitely a lot of super successful YouTubers who have vinyl wrapped their vehicles, their supercars or whatever and made videos about it. And they just get tons and tons of hype about it. And it's definitely something that has crossed my mind multiple times throughout the past. Like I've said in past videos, I do enjoy the color of my truck. However, I do think it would be f awesome to vinyl wrap it. I'm not too educated on this topic, but I believe it would be in the thousands still. And I'm not quite sure if it's something that would be very smart to do personally, as opposed to getting like a shop that does vinyl wrapping to do it for me. So I don't f it up. So it's just one specific color that I've always enjoyed right there. On that second gen there, as you can see, it's almost like a copper slash like dark brown chestnut, almond, nut, walnut, fuck, shit fuck kind of color. Not exactly sure what to call that color, but I do really like how it looks and I think my truck with that color on it would look pretty damn good. And here's another color that I really, really like the look of on this Lamborghini right here. It's just a really nice looking dark green color. Just in general, green is probably my favorite color, so obviously you can see why I would like this wrap. However, there is a specific vinyl wrap that I am almost set on doing to my truck eventually. And me and my buddy right here, we were discussing earlier what we think the best color ever would be to wrap my truck. But anyways, the color that I plan on eventually vinyl wrapping my truck is I'm sorry, but you know we gotta keep this shit a surprise or I'll say it's gonna be no fun. My one hint to you guys, it is kind of similar to what I already have in some way. <laughs> I know it's kind of vague, but that's, that's all you guys get. For everybody who's watching this video right now, I want you guys to comment down below and just let me know what you think would be a good color for me to vinyl wrap my truck. I'm definitely interested on in getting you guys' opinions. Obviously, it may seem a little bit silly to vinyl wrap the truck. It's gonna get scratched up, obviously, and it's gonna have kind of a rough life. But you know what, honestly, that's not gonna stop me from doing what I want. So drop a comment down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. But on another note, who remembers the truck shoutouts? Well, they're back now, but with a little bit of a twist this time around. I posted up on my Snapchat the other day, telling everybody how they could get a shout out on my channel. So all you gotta do to get featured on the channel is send a picture of your vehicle, of your truck, of your whatever, repping one of the decals that I have on my website. Whether it's the Dodge Ram Fam one or the No Road No Problem one. So basically all you gotta do is order one of those, slap it on the vehicle, take a picture of that, send it to me, and then I'll be featuring your vehicle in a future video. So here's just a couple people who've already sent in pictures of their trucks repping the decals. So first shout out goes to Will Bram 6. As you can see here, he's repping the Dodge Ram Fam, looking fresh as ever. And here we got my buddy from LA. White Boy Chevy on YouTube, repping the No Road No Problem deck on the back of his lift the Duramax. So that's just the start. There's definitely gonna be more of these rolling in within the next week or two because I just posted this on my Snapchat yesterday and I'm actually recording this video on Wednesday. You guys are seeing it Sunday. So if you guys wanna have your truck featured in a video, you wanna be shouted out just like these guys, all you gotta do, like I said, is grab a decal from the website. They come up to like eight bucks with shipping. It's not even bad. Throw that thing on the rig, take a picture of it and send it in. Boom, that's it, you're done. Check out my new truck mod guys. They're uh, they're called road spikes. They hang off of the truck like that just to warn other uh, people on the road. But honestly, I've had enough of our winter weather here in Manitoba. I washed my truck three days ago because it was cold enough on the road that there wasn't really any shit. And then it warmed up for one day and this happens. This is what happens when the roads get all disgusting. There's like... <laughs> Chunks of ice built up everywhere. But basically the reason why I'm outside in the cold right now is because my buddy at Nothing But Custom, he's actually building me a new mod for my truck right now. And in order to do so, he needs a certain measurement for my truck. So I gotta get that for him. Look how fine that line is. 
from having a dirty tire to just like nice and clean and black. Like I don't even know what that's about. All the tires are like that right now. It's like a perfect division right at that line. It's kind of random. <laughs> Coolant is literally just dripping out right now. What the hell? It's not doing too good at all right now. It's dripping from a couple places up there. It looks like it might be coming back around from over there on the other side. Or it might be something to do with that hose clamp. So I gotta, gotta look further into this. There's a few hoses running down there that have uh, coolant all over them and stuff. I checked the clamps. Everything seems to be all good there. But what I did notice is right underneath the alternator, there's a puddle of coolant just sitting there. And I think it's right where it's originating from, it's somewhere in there, but can't really see unless I take some shit apart here. I don't know. If any of you guys watching have any ideas of where it could be originating from, please let me know. And it seems like after it warms up, it stops leaking. So it's kind of a little bit strange, but gotta take care of this shit. So to finish off this video, I was gonna kind of film a little bit what I was doing with the tire, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's way too f cold out here. So basically, that's gonna be it for this little video. I got a few interesting ideas of stuff to shoot with the truck this upcoming week. I'm potentially gonna do a video where I go over every single mod on my truck that I've ever done and price out everything and look back at the prices and see how much I spent. And basically calculate a grand total of how much I've actually spent on the truck in mods. So, might do a video like that. But anyways guys, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. And until the next video, see you guys later.